That's all there is to it. You idiots that want to call me a racist, I bet you money that you would probably be in a court of law right now trying to sue me if we were in some kind of a workplace environment because, oh, you said for me to smile like I had a burrito or like I had a taco, and and I got to go and sue you for $250,000. The people that are out here crying racism want something for nothing, baby. Huh? Money for nothing, they want chicks for free. But that ain't working, huh? <laughs> anyway, let's take some more calls. Six four six six five two four eight six nine. All right, we're in the third and final hour of the True Capitalist Radio broadcast, and of course, I am your host, the man they call Ghost. And once again, folks, I want to thank everybody for tuning in with me. Uh, please, all right, before we get into anything else, spread it around like wildfire. And let everybody know that we're in effect in the house at blogtalkradio.com slash ghost. Moreover, why don't you follow me on Twitter, baby? Follow me on Twitter. Ghost Politics is the name to follow. And that's all there is to it. And all you idiots that are in here calling me a racist, you know, shove it up your ass, all right? Give me my dinner I drink. Ah. All of you people that are out here calling me a racist, sh- shove it up your goddamn fruit bowl. Stupid bastards. Anyway, let's take some more callers here. Area code 712, you're on the horn. What's up? Hello? Yeah, what's up? Ghost, can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear yeah, you. Yeah, it's actually um about the Oslo thing. Today. I think it's great that you brought up that the stuff about uh, fundamentalism and stuff, And I, because I actually read something online today. And I thought I okay. I um I actually read today that um in Texas they're actually the Board of Education is actually considering adding alternatives to evolution in school. I mean, okay. All, this is, that's just ridiculous. This is the twenty first century. What well, well wait a minute. What makes you think evolution is a fact to begin with anyway? It's not it's not a fact. Evolution is not yes, a fact. Is. So what well, how is it a fact? Explain to me in scientific detail how evolution is an absolute 100% scientifically documented fact. Go ahead, right now, go. What, what do you mean by that? What I mean, I'll tell you what I mean by that. It's something that you can't explain. That's what I'm saying, all right? First of all, there is a clear missing link if you want to base your evolution concept on fossils. You understand? Like, the fossil uh, idea of evolution, there is a humongous missing link between primitive Neanderthal and primitive man. You understand? I mean, there there is no, it just seems like, you know, uh, Neanderthal took a giant step forward uh, out of nowhere based on the fossil uh, records, excuse me, I'm trying to do eight things at once here. But the bottom line is, is that that's a, that's a fact, all right? There's a missing link based on the fossils. Secondly, all right, there is no evidence stating that some chimpanzee took a shit and out came an albino hairless ape and, uh, you know, the, the, the apes threw them out or something and they, they decided to, you know, have a whole community of hairless apes that eventually evolved into human beings. I mean, it's just, it's stupid. It's stupid. I mean, and then you got this other idea that we came from uh, what a tadpoles, you know, that that we had like you know, were little leg amphibious creatures that like crawled onto the sea and and through evolution grew legs and opposable thumbs and all this. Not it's stupid. It's silly. All right, it's utterly pathetic. All right, now, 712, I'm going to give you one more time, all right? I want you to give me scientific, documented, actual, cited evidence that evolution is 100% absolute fact. Go ahead. Oh, hold on. I got I screwed up, for Christ's sake. Hold on. Switchboard screwing up. Hold on. Let me, let me get back to this 712 guy, because I, I like to hear the scientific analysis of this young man. Go ahead, 712. Okay, this isn't the only evidence for evolution, but have you heard of an endogenous retrovirus? Basically, it's a virus that encodes itself in DNA, like AIDS and stuff. That's an endogenous retrovirus. Now, the chances of a... It encodes itself in a specific part of our genetics, and 
The fact is that we share around like 90% of it with chimpanzees. The fact of one endogenous. Uh, hold on, hold on. If you're, if you want to, you know, make the DNA argument, I mean, you know, the closest is not the chimp. You know, when it comes to human beings, when it comes to uh, DNA makeup. Believe it or not, if I'm not mistaken, uh, the human being has more of a genetic uh, identification to the chicken more than the ape. So did we come from chickens now? Huh? Yeah, I'm not joking. I mean, we're, the DNA and all this genome shit that, the, that these scientists are throwing down our throats, for Christ's sake, I mean, 98% of the DNA of every living organism is uh, basically comprised of the same DNA that humans comprise of. You understand what I'm saying? It's ridiculous. Look, get this idiot. Get them off. All right? Get them off. I'm not going to sit here and, and listen to this crap. Oh, I'm an ape. I'm an ape. A freaking ape, for Christ's sake. You people are idiots if you think that you came out of an ape's ass. Jesus Christ. Now, I know there's a lot of people out here thinking, you know, because I'm talking down against evolution, that I'm somehow, Jesus, it's Jesus, the Lord Jesus, is going to give me Christ and Jesus. Let me tell you something. I'm not for that either, baby, all right? I mean, let me tell you something right now. Let me tell you something right now. I, I am one of the most anti-theocratic people that you'll ever meet in your goddamn life, all right? I'm not joking. I mean, you know, I thought it was sick that when the Pope, the, the, the last Good Friday, this past Good Friday that happened, I found it disgusting that when the Pope had this little call-in little session on the Internet and on TV, and when he actually had a little girl from Japan, a little girl from Japan call up and say, why are we suffering here in Japan? Why does a little girl like me have to, you know, live in fear and pain and misery? And do you know what he said? The Pope said, uh, you're suffering for Jesus. And that's what he said. You're suffering for Jesus. That's what it is right there. Huh? Oh, thanks, Popey. Thanks a lot. So don't give me this crap. That, you know, I'm a religious nut job, all right? Because I'm not. But you cannot sit here and give me this this nonsense about evolution. I mean, I can't believe that we actually have young kids believing that this is 100% factual. You know what I mean? That it's 100% facts that we came out of an ape's ass and lo and behold, we're human beings. You know? I mean, it's stupid. It's stupid. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. Anyway, let's let's continue. I didn't mean to get off on this tirade over here, but Jesus Christ. Let me move on to the next subject matter. I think we talked a little bit about news of the world scandal. It's growing. It's growing to the point where it's affecting, uh, you know, David Cameron's uh, parliament. Uh, you know, it, it, it's spreading to the point where it's possible that some of these Rupert Murdoch media outlets were actually ganking information from 9-11 victims' voice mailboxes. Uh, you know, re really, uh, really unbelievable. Really. Uh, and moreover, I want to talk a little bit about uh, that fat Mexican from Venezuela, that, you know, communist asshole, uh, Hugo Chavez. Uh, Hugo Chavez has made it through his first bout of chemotherapy in Cuba. Huh? Oh, isn't that great? Uh, isn't that great? Fat Mexican uh, Hugo Chavez is getting chemotherapy because you got prostate cancer, huh? Aw, Portecito, huh? Portecito. You know, who gives a crap, all right? Who gives a crap? That communist fat piece of hypocritical garbage, I hope he dies tomorrow. As a matter of fact, since uh, we're talking about religion, let us all pray, all right? Let us all pray right now. I'd like for everybody to please close your eyes and put your hand on the computer screen right now so we can gather up all our energies and send them through this fiber optically connected world we call the Internet so that we can pray that this fat, disgusting piece of communist trash, Hugo Chavez, uh, you know, dies in his own disgusting, ridiculous, Stalin-esque waller. Now, what I'd like to do is... Gather up all the energy in everybody's minds right now, and I want you to think death, death to Chavez, 
Death to Hugo Chavez. Death to Hugo Chavez. You understand what I'm saying? And let me go ahead and pray to God. God, if you're listening in, God, it, you know, I mean, if there's anybody that you needed to take out in this world, it's definitely a communist. Remember, communists are secularist atheists, God. I mean, they're trying to make themselves their own materialistic-based God on this planet. So, God, if you could, I know that you've already hit up Hugo Chavez in the prostate, you know? But please, you know, if you could, hit up Hugo Chavez in the poop chute so that the man dies of anal leakage. Thank you. Amen. Thank you, God. Amen. All right. Now that we got that out of the way, let's continue going, shall we? 646-652-4869-919, you're on the horn. What's up? Hey, uh, Gus. Yeah, you, well, you're taking too long. Uh, 708, what's up? No, you're taking too long. You're taking too long, too. 951, you're on the horn. Jesus Christ. 512. You stupid piece of trash. 508, you're on the horn. That was messed up for you to fucking say, Ghost. What? What was messed up? What? Uh, you hung up, of course, huh? Hung up. Oh, ha, ha. Give me a damn break. Anyway, let me move on to another subject matter, all right? Now, since I've been going out here, I've been, uh, you know, not only partaking in a lot of barbecues, but I've also been eating a lot of barbecue out here, other people's barbecue, all right? And one thing I cannot stand is burnt-ass barbecue. Do you understand what I'm saying, folks? That's right. Burnt barbecue is one of the most disgusting things I've ever tasted in my life. And you know, half the barbecue, half the barbecue in world believes that you're supposed to burn the hell out of the goddamn piece of meat on the freaking grill before you eat it, for Christ's sake. Anyway, the reason that I'm, I'm pissed off about this is because, uh, you know, I'm out here, you know, I, I felt compassion for somebody out here who was actually selling barbecue plates to raise money for, I'm not going to say what they were raising money for, but they're raising money for something. I buy a barbecue plate. I take a bite of a piece of chicken, for Christ's sake, and it literally tastes like I took a charred piece of freaking cedar wood out of the fire, dried it out, and took a bite out of the son of a bitch. All right? Now, look, I know that the, the barbecue pit corporations and, and all the barbecuing companies are out here trying to make it more, I guess, commercial, more mainstream to grill, for Christ's sake. But if you don't know what the hell you're doing, stop grilling, all right? If you bite into your barbecue and you just get nothing but charred, just disgusting, burnt crap in your mouth, then stop barbecuing. That's not what barbecue's supposed to taste like, assholes. It's not supposed to taste like burnt, disgusting flesh. All right? It's supposed to taste like a, you know, a decent uh, tasting wood, like mesquite. It's supposed to taste like charcoal. You understand? It's supposed to have little char lines that are supposed to be symmetrical to the uh, to the grill. You, you understand what I'm saying? I'm just saying, there's a lot of you idiots out here that are grilling barbecue that have no business doing it. Stop doing it. You're, you're, you're giving people burnt barbecue, and you're making them hate barbecue. You're making them hate barbecue because your barbecue sucks. So that's all there is to it. And hey, hey, Brian, if you don't like it, get the hell out of here. There, you stupid fruit bro. All right? I'm from Texas, all right? I'm from Texas. We like barbecue out here. If you don't like it, get out. You idiots are going to be laughing when there's a Texan in the White House, boy. I tell you that right now. <laughs> I tell you that right now. You sorry sex of crap ain't going to be laughing when there's a Texan in the White House. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what I want to see. I want to see a text in the White House, all right? Hey, Rick Perry, if you're listening, baby, run for president. 
run for 